Hello there, elites. How's it going? It's me, Waddles, and welcome back to the Minecraft Guide, a Minecraft 1.15.2. Wait, what's that? Elites, if you're living under a rock and haven't heard somehow, Minecraft 1.16, it's finally here. Today is the big day, the big update. Well, I guess technically the big day is a couple days ago, but today we're updating the world. I know what I'm doing. Let's go. So, today's episode is going to be a little bit different. Of course, you already know, we're going to check out the new nether. But first, we're going to talk about updating your world. So technically, what you just saw right there was the process of updating the world. The Minecraft Guide World, PAM, the expanded storage building, all of our farms are now officially in Minecraft 1.16. That's all you technically have to do. But there is a little bit more. In today's episode, we're going to talk about clearing old nether chunks, or really all chunks in general. And then, of course, we're going to go find the brand new nether and hopefully actually finish our storage building up. We need some blackstone, some basalt. Yeah, we, we got to find some of that stuff today. So that's the entire plan. But now let's actually slide out of the Minecraft guide world. We'll leave it entirely and clear some chunks, actually. Transition over to a beautiful program called MCA Selector. I'm going to go ahead and leave a link to this program down in the description for you, elites. Now, before you do any of this, a big disclaimer. Well, actually, two. Disclaimer number one, back up your world. Make a copy of your world. Whenever you're editing your world, uh, things could go wrong. You definitely want to make a backup. I've already done that. Thing number two, uh, you don't have to do this to update your world. You could just do what we did in the beginning. You could load up your world in 1.16 and go for it. But let's say you have a world that has existed before Minecraft 1.16, like me. Now, let's say you went into the nether in that world before 1.16, also like me. And if you haven't found out yet, once you go into the nether in 1.16, it's going to look the same. It's going to look old. It's going to look boring. Maybe you want the new nether closer to where you've been, closer to your nether hub. If that's the case, this is the program for you. Again, MCA Selector. So, first things first, we need to get our world into this program right here so we can actually edit it. To do that, go ahead and hit File, Open. If everything goes correctly, it should take you straight to your Minecraft Saves folder. Find the world that you're trying to edit. We're trying to edit Minecraft Guide, so boom, I've already found it. Now, for today's video, all you need to know is dim minus one is the nether. So we can go ahead and open that, and then we can go ahead and click on a region and select that folder. Give it a minute, the program will load up that world. Now, if you used MCA Selector before, it's a good idea to go over to View and then hit Clear Cache. This will reload the map just to make sure you're looking at a current version of your nether. We are. So right here, this is our nether. How red, how beautiful. If we use a scroll wheel, we'll zoom in and out. If we click and hold on the scroll wheel, we'll move around, nice and simple. Now, this is our nether hub right here. We have the hub itself, and then the hallways. Over here, the stronghold, over there, the mesa, tundra, ocean monument project that's definitely finished. Very nice. To select chunks, left click. To deselect, right click. But what if I told you we could do things even faster? To select multiple chunks, left click and hold, and drag, there we go. To deselect, right click, drag, and there we go, deselected. So we could manually select a bunch of these chunks and say, clear all of these. Or we could use a smart filter to clear certain chunks and leave other ones alone. And here somewhere is the way to the jungle. I'd prefer to not lose it. So filter time. To use a filter, go ahead and go over to tools and then filter chunks. And when you do that, you'll get a menu like this. Go ahead and hit delete, delete, delete. Now we have one filter. That's all we need. The filter that we're looking for is going to be based off of time. If we haven't been in a chunk for very long, then it's safe to say the chunk is unimportant i probably haven't built there so let's say five five minutes that's a good amount of time if we go ahead and set this to inhabited time is less than five minutes and then say okay the program is going to select all of the hey that's a funny shape okay the program is going to go ahead and select all of the chunks all of this stuff over here that we actually have been in for less than five minutes so like these chunks over here these were just loaded in when we were exploring they're unimportant i haven't built anything here but uh, we could actually modify this selection even more. So things like uh, these chunks right here have been loaded in while I've been in this tunnel, but I haven't built anything in them. So I think we can actually go ahead and make our selection get a little bit closer to our hallway. Let's say maybe 
maybe a little bit less maybe something like that this should be good this will get us the new nether really close to our hallway now over here we have another fortress i'd prefer to leave this nether fortress alone so we're gonna go ahead and get our selection pretty close to the nether fortress but not touching it so something like that this is the fortress that we wanted to get the blaze rods a while ago down here all of this is unimportant over here unimportant as well over here unimportant as well and then this area so this goes over to the jungle i don't know about this area so what i think i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go ahead and just select it like this and then leave all of that alone that'll be fine that'll be the old nether so this all looks good with our world properly backed up which it already is we can now go over to selection and then hit delete selected chunks it's gonna ask us if we're sure we are sure go ahead and say okay and boom this is now our nether we just trimmed down the nether to this right here if we slide into the nether in the game which we're going to do in a minute we shouldn't have to go too far before we actually find the new stuff which is amazing and so that's actually going to be just about it for mca selector today that's all we needed to do so now we can hop back over to the minecraft guide world and so easy now we shouldn't have to go too far to check out the new nether chunks but now of course the moment we've all been waiting for pam i know you're excited but you gotta stay here today it's time to go into the new nether so i've got the ender chest for exploration i think there are some shulker boxes in here too um okay you know what you know what let's actually bring one more extra shulker box just to carry a bunch of stuff because there's a lot to check out by the way sorted the storage room it's looking pretty good but we're going to talk about it more after we check out the new nether so extra shulker box right there of course you already know we got to make it red for the nether mm -hmm, perfect and then that's going to go right in there we won't confuse them now this comes with me and now it's time to go over to the armory and the armory is uh, a better chest plate for sure and the gold boots that we made we are definitely gonna need these golden boots for today's episode by the way somebody said to get mending on these 100 big brain move i definitely need mending 100 for sure so blast protection four or uh protection four on breaking three mending let's go with this one this one's a little bit better the elytra can go right back in there and michael uh michael you will go right over there perfect there we go now i think uh <laughs> super excited for this but i think we're good to go man i don't know what it is about game updates but they are some of the most exciting things in the world like whenever minecraft gets an update i am just so so excited for them but zombie zombie you you're gonna get you go away you you know you don't live here anymore no okay so the new nether the area that we cleared is right over that way of course to experience this in all of its beauty in all of its glory we're gonna have to go down and check it out in the normal nether it's gonna be a little bit dangerous but it's gonna look a whole lot better now uh oh my gosh oh my gosh it happened look at the biome nether waste i knew it i knew it this is so amazing what do we got down here anything cool hey oh pigman oh piglin oh piglin what have you done with my sweet sweet pigman wow wow this is emotional this has gone emotional very quick oh wow <laughs> <laughs> that kind of surprised me not gonna lie i mean not the gone emotional part the the fact that these are piglin instead of pigmen i don't know what i was expecting of course these are piglin of course they are so new nether uh, that way but i think we can go this way and maybe actually see it out in the open in all of its natural glory and its beauty so after we clear chunks any of the chunks that we load back in are going to be loaded back in using the new generation systems so we cleared chunks that are actually right out over that way i guess we're not going to actually really be able to get there from here but as soon as they start loading in they will use the new nether generation and they should be new biomes if a new biome would be there that if is the big deciding factor if there's meant to be a new biome like a soul sand valley it'll be there but if there's not then it'll just be the nether waste biome so um thinking it's hallway time we'll, we'll make a small hallway right here we're gonna do our best to not get lost today but today's episode is honestly all about getting lost and checking out this new stuff now did i not bring cobblestone oh i did i did big brain move big brain we're gonna make some cobblestone bridges here don't know if we're ever gonna really use these bridges again honestly the plan is to make the nether hub expand out to this new chunks but uh for now this is gonna work this this will be fine so while we go oh 
Okay, I was gonna say, so while we try to find the new biomes, let's talk about updating the world without deleting chunks, but look at that. Hi, Hoglin. You have to go away. You are dangerous. You, baby Hoglin, I'm sorry. I don't like to do it. I don't like to, but you started this fight. You, you, hey, hey, oi, you get back here. Get back here. Crimson Forest, it worked. Deleting the, the chunks, oh, this is amazing. I'm excited. Wow. I, I'm kind of bummed that our first new netherwood is gonna be Crimson Wood. It, the worst of the two, but I mean, hey, it's good. We're definitely gonna take this stuff back home with us. I cannot wait to get to actually use this stuff. Now, did I bring- I, I did bring my scaffolding. Okay, we're gonna want to keep that on hand for sure. Shroom lights, these things are gonna be amazing. You actually want to use the hoe to harvest those though, so we're just gonna use the stake instead. That'll work. Weeping vines, that's cool too. Gonna have to make farms for all of this stuff. And then tons and tons of nether wart blocks. Look at this. Nether wart farm, not that we ever made one, but nether wart farm that at least for blocks would have been made completely useless by this thing which honestly I like that is really really cool now a big question here I can't remember I don't think it's shears right no it's not it is a hoe okay okay well those shears are they're they're useless we'll leave them here okay you know what we're not gonna leave them here we'll, we'll bring them with us but this stuff nylium we definitely want to bring this with us we have the silk touch pickaxe so not a problem we can easily scoop up some of this and then grow more back at home not that big of a deal but i think it's shulker box time let's actually keep everything new that we find in today's adventure inside of the shulker box that'll help keep us organized kind of like when we're exploring the end so shulker box you come back with me and chest you come with me too so Crimson Forest. Yes, I know I didn't harvest that all the way. It's okay. It's not that big of a deal. Over here, nether gold ore, for sure. We're going to grab this, definitely. Now, if we want to actually use the stuff, get the gold out of it, we're going to need to actually go back and fortune that stuff, but I didn't bring the fortune pickaxe. I also didn't actually bring one of the biggest things that you want to have in the nether update, and that is gold. Today, we're not really going to worry about bartering. If we can find the piglins, that would be awesome, but bartering will be the plan for another time. Now, um, I hope this goes somewhere. I hope this can lead us to, like, something that's actually cool. We could definitely use this information menu right here, though, to figure out where we are, which is the nether ways. But, but I think we want to go up there for sure. So I think the safest way to do this, and really there is no safe way, but the safest way to do this, the safest way to get up there is to make a spiraling staircase in the netherrack. Hopefully we don't find any lava. Now I do hear some gas near us, which could mean one of two things. Thing number one, Soul Sand Valley. Thing number two is just a random gas, and um, that would be kind of boring. And hopefully it'll be a Soul Sand Valley. Ah, the surface. I hear pig noises. What is it? Is the zombified piglin? No, no, no. Oh, well, maybe it was. Maybe it was. Oh, Soul Sand Valley, Crimson Forest, Nether Ways. Okay, no, not the Nether Ways. Nether Ways not exciting. Wow, look at all these enchantments over here. You guys are stacked. You're doing well. That's not going to be like that for too much longer. Hi, piglin. How you doing, man? Cool armor. Is that the Nether Fortress? I think. Oh, that is the Nether. Oh, wow. Look at this. That's in the Nether Fortress right by our base. You can see blocks that I put there. This is where we reset things. You can see the resetting right in there. I think it looks like it. I mean, that's pretty, that's pretty ugly looking. Definitely right there. So this nether fortress would normally be in a crimson forest biome. That's really cool. But more importantly right now, the soul sand valley. Look at all that beautiful blue fire over there. That is so cool. And basalt as well. Basalt is one of the things that we really need. So I think it's time to go this way and check this out for sure. Let's go ahead and just make a staircase here. And actually we won't need any of those old tunnels. If we can just find that nether fortress, we'll go back through that. I have a tunnel connecting the nether fortress through our hub. Minecraft skeleton, you're gonna, uh, and a gas too. Gas is a little more important. Go away, gas skeleton. You can go away too. Walter two. Wow, cleaning them up. Forget about Walter one. Was nothing. You, you go away. Mm-hmm, perfect. That's exactly what I thought. Soul soil, look at it. This is so exciting. This is awesome. We're definitely gonna wanna have soul soil. Soul soil is used to craft a bunch of those really cool blue light source blocks, and, I mean, it looks really good. I think this is gonna go great in build. So, yeah, definitely gonna wanna stock up on this stuff. Soul sand is here. We kind of, I think, have enough soul sand though, so I'm not too worried about it. Soul soil, uh, that's more where it's at today. Gotta say, the blue fog in this biome is amazing. It just really, it, it makes such a cool looking atmosphere. It, what is that over there? Soul sand valley? I, I think that's soul sand. Striders! <gasps> Striders, how could I forget about striders? Oh my gosh, wow. 
Wow, what a good update. I swear, this is like I'm learning the update all over again because I'm experiencing it in survival in this world too. This is just such a good feeling. I feel like it's like Christmas and I have like all of these presents. This is like so, so cool. But I think what we're gonna do is actually we're gonna just gonna, uh, we're gonna keep going this way and see where this goes. Eventually, once we make our hallway, the, the new tunnel to the new nether is gonna go this way anyway. So I'd like to see if we maybe hit a warp force or even more importantly, a basalt delta biome. Basalt delta would be huge right now. We need the blackstone and the basalt as well. We could take out these pillars in this biome, but honestly, Honestly, I'm kind of thinking about leaving this biome alone. Maybe not touching it too much, ripping it up too much. I'd like to leave it in its natural beauty. I think that would be cool. But uh, we need a strider. <laughs> I can't really go anywhere in here. It's kind of like lots of dead ends. And then the skeletons too, they make me nervous. I don't want the skeletons to like spawn and then shoot me off of a ledge. That would be really, really bad. So maybe instead of going that way, I know I just said it, but... Instead of going that way, maybe we go back this way and check that area out. Okay, we definitely have something over there. I can't tell what that is. It looks like a pretty big landmass, and I think upping the render distance really isn't going to help. I, I think the fog is, yeah, the fog is going to restrict us a lot. So render distance doesn't really matter. We'll go ahead and go back to 18 chunks. Uh, okay, I think we can go up that way and then get across over there. It shouldn't be too difficult. But first, we need to put the soul soil away, for sure. And, you know, while I'm here, might as well actually give more. We could always use more. Okay, so I hear a ghast, but we're not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna move this way. I think this is a ledge. Yeah, this is a bit of a ledge. It's a little, little dangerous. Maybe we go all the way back that way. We'll backtrack even more and check that out. That looks a little safer, and it definitely looks like it connects. Um and maybe maybe we'll find more new cool stuff over there basalt delta please please we need to find all of the new biomes today that's the goal oh right so a little bit of a drop here we can handle it though not that big of a deal no biggie i'm definitely gonna have to keep the durability of these boots in mind though because it's not very high but this way so i think we can head this way carefully for sure we're gonna need to be careful i think we actually need to go back this way hoglin hoglin no 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 we're not doing that we're not not today not today hoglin i'm sorry they have so much health these things are like gigantic tanks but uh pork chop Oh, pork chop for sure. Okay, anyways, this way. This is the way to go. We have a little bit of a land bridge here, which is perfect. This is exactly what we needed. Now we can move back up away from the lava. That definitely makes me nervous. We have lots of good stuff here. Definitely don't want to lose any of it and go over this way. We should also take a break and pick some of these flowers sometimes. They're the fungi, you know, the roots, everything like that. That could be cool to have too. I think another hoglin sees me. I'm not too sure. Maybe it fell. <laughs> Did it fall? Yeah, it fell. It fell. It totally saw me, though, before. Yeah, we're just gonna leave you alone. We're gonna go this way. Piglins, help me out, boys. Come on. Clean these hoglins up. That's your job. A skeleton, too. Okay, we're just gonna go. We're gonna go. That was a little close. Hoglin, you still coming? Okay, well, look, buddy. Look, buddy. You gotta meet Walter, too. Walter, too, cleans you up. Mm-hmm. Blue mushroom. That's awesome. Oh, 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 you see what I see over there. That's our very first ruined portal. And look at that. This is so cool. Wow. Uh, yeah, we're going to we're going to take a screenshot for sure. For sure. And we're going to go over here and see what the loot is, too. And maybe even take that crying obsidian, that beautiful, beautiful stuff. And the blackstone right here, too. This is the first blackstone that we're seeing of the world. How amazing. What do we have in here? Uh, gold tools, efficiency five. Wow, that's crazy. Curse of vanishing. Not good. Golden carrots. Those are cool. And unbreaking three over there. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> do we take it? Oh, well, uh, hello. Bastion, uh, how you doing? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, uh, nice. Aha. Uh -huh. Is this a spot for the outpost? Do we need another outpost? <laughs> we might need another outpost. Wow. Look at that. Hey, Piglin, we, we're going to take that house on of yours. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, so uh, here's the plan. To save space, I think we're actually going to pass up this loot for now, but we're going to come back. The Bastion over there, it's very exciting, but I think that's going to be the plan for maybe the next episode. We're going to come back to the Bastion and take it on. 
Um, oi, hey, um, what? I'm wearing, oh, you saw me open the chest, you saw me open the chest, you saw me open the chest. I didn't do it. It wasn't me. Come on, man. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You come with me. Come on. We're, we're going over here. We're exploring. We're exploring. Yep, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, okay. So what I think we could do, big brain move right here, is we could trap you. Stop shooting me. Stop it. Stop it. You're gonna make your friends mad, too. Come on. This is between me and you. Just us. You, uh, you know what? Hey, hey, you stop moving. Okay, okay. Hoglin, too. Very cool. Oh, look it. Look it. They're working on the hoglin. Perfect. Exactly what I needed. I was gonna try and trap it, but that makes my life even easier. Come on, guys. Hey, it's cool. I didn't even touch that chest. Uh, baby. No, please don't. I don't want to have to do it. All right, so let's keep going this way. It looks like we have a gigantic crimson forest here, which is really, really cool, but... Uh, warp forest. Come on. Where's, where's my warp forest at? Come on. The beautiful warp forest. It's gotta be near here. Basalt Delta 2, maybe? Uh, that's this old nether now. Okay. Hmm. Is that a basalt delta over there? Wait a second. That looks like blackstone to me. That definitely looks like blackstone. Oh, that's a basalt delta. <laughs> that's a basalt delta for sure. If I've ever seen one, that's amazing. It's time for a bridge. We need a bridge right here. Excuse me, pigment man. We're gonna do another bridge right there on the lava. It's, yeah, it's, it's very low. It's very dangerous. I know that. I know. I know this. It's okay, though. It's gonna be good. We do it too wide. We'll be nice and safe. And don't worry. I do have more cobblestone, too. And this way, we can come back for you, little buddy. You're cool looking. Um, we're gonna definitely import those to the overworld. Do they want to be in the overworld? I don't know. Uh, I don't know about that. It's not what I'm worried about. Wow, just looking at this biome, this place is evil looking. Like, this is intense stuff right here. And you know, I'm just realizing too, we're really close to the lava. And you know what's under the lava ocean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It rhymes with betherite. Yeah, betherite. What does it mean? I'm not sure. This is really good, though. Good thing we reset the nether. All right, so we're getting pretty close here. I think the move is gonna be go forward a little bit more and then head over right to this side of the mountain to make a staircase going all the way up so we can get blackstone and basalt. I think after that, we're actually gonna skip out on the warp forest today and head back to the base. I wanna see if I can find my way back. I think it's gonna be pretty much straight that way, but I am not 100% sure. But uh, I think it is just about time, maybe four more blocks uh, right there. Uh, it's definitely time to turn now. Strider, you're gonna have to move. You're gonna to be in the way look buddy look you're very cool looking but you're gonna have to move please you are just standing in the wrong spot my guy you wrong spot okay fine i hit you once only once though uh yep yeah, please go away okay okay we're here we're good we made it um magma blocks yeah that's right that's right we gotta crouch on those we're just gonna get rid of those those are dangerous cobblestone much better basalt hello beautiful basalt now we need blackstone that beautiful beautiful blackstone too Oh, Blackstone, right there, perfect. We hit the jackpot, I think there's gonna be a big chunk of it. We might not even have to go up top into that biome today, which is good, because there's gonna be a lot of magma cubes up there. If I could just stay in here and take this stuff out like this, this is a whole lot easier. It's a lot safer too, which, I mean, hey, I'm not complaining about. This is good, I'll take it. Now, basalt. We actually have all the materials that we would need to make a basalt generator, so I'm a lot less worried about basalt than I am blackstone. Blackstone cannot be crafted, which, by the way, in my opinion, totally should be able to craft this stuff, but, yeah, it can't be crafted, so we're gonna wanna go ahead and try and get as much blackstone as possible. With the build, how we set it up in the last episode, it kind of requires a lot of blackstone. I think we're gonna wanna try and get maybe a good four or five stacks of the stuff. Like, a lot of it. After that, it's going to be time to head back to the nether up. Oh, right. This much blackstone. That should hopefully be enough. Maybe. I'm not too sure, but I think we're going to go ahead and call it good. I've mined a lot of this chunk out. There's more over there. It kind of just keeps going and going and going, but yeah, we should hopefully be good. So let's go ahead and try and find our way home. Again, like I said, I think we can pretty much just go straight this way. This should follow like the border of the old chunks, new chunks, and then eventually we should be able to find that nether fortress. We'll head through the fortress and we'll be right back at the home we'll have to come back to the nether sometime soon probably very soon and add a new highway or two or, or three i'd like to have a road going right to all of the new nether biomes because i mean hey I, why not it's not that difficult right we can get lots of ice quickly should be cool
Aha, aha, aha. Is this going to be a dead end? I'm going up pretty high here. Well, you know what? You know what? Just to be safe, Shulker Box is going in there. I don't anticipate anything bad happening, but I keep having close calls. I keep almost jumping off of things, so better safe than sorry. Don't want to lose my seven stacks of Blackstone. That would be bad. All right, we got a Hoglin right there. Stand back, buddy. Stand back. Are you gone? He might as well be gone. You stand back, buddy. Not so fast. All right. Do you see what I see right over there? Nether Fortress. We've made our way back home. Almost. I just need to get off of this forest right here. Kind of dangerous. Kind of painful. But we made it. It's nicely done. All right. So we got to find the Blaze Spawner, which I think is that way. And then we should be good to go from there. I think the hallway connects right over to the Blaze Spawner that we definitely need to change into a Blaze Farm. Should probably do that soon now that it's the Nether update and we're keeping this fortress forever. And it's also on the way to the new biomes. That would probably be a good idea. Right here, though. We got a treasure chest right there with I'll bring it with me and then the ladder right back to home. Home sweet home. As expected, we made it back safely. So, in between episodes, I did a little bit of organization in the storage building. This is what we have now. Over here, we have all of our ground blocks and then some other blocks over there. Ocean blocks there. Plant blocks over here. Wood blocks there. Nether blocks over here. And then there's more blocks over there. I put the valuable stuff back in this room. One more spot for something else valuable. What could it be? Hmm. And then over here, lots of mob drops. That's what we have right now. Nothing is down below in the basement actually which is kind of surprising but these blocks these amazing new blocks need a good home so i'm thinking blackstone right there and maybe another blackstone chest over there depending on how much we end up stocking up on this stuff right down here we're gonna do warped wood and then we'll do crimson wood right next to it once we get our hands on it that'll look good I saved a spot next to the soul sand for soul soil. I feel like that makes sense. They're both pretty similar, so we'll put them next to each other. Then over here, I made two netherrack chests now. I'm always overrun with netherrack, so I figured maybe two chests for the stuff, and then anything else I'll just throw away. Down below here, we'll do crimson nilium and then warped nilium once we get it. Now, um, warped wart block and nether wart block. Technically, nether wart block should probably go over here. Uh, but then we could do the warped wart there, but I don't know. It kind of gets confusing here. You know what? We'll do nether wart there and then maybe warped wart up there somewhere. I guess it's not that important right now because we don't have any of it. For now, let's just go ahead and do this. We'll reserve both of those for blackstone. I have a feeling I'm going to want to try and stock up on this stuff. And if I could have two chests for it, that would be good. Above the blackstone, though, we'll do basalt and the beautiful, beautiful polished basalt. So, basalt right there, polished basalt right there, uh, that should be good. Those are two more blocks that I definitely want to stock up on. Right next to the glowstone, I was thinking shroom light. Shroom light looks similar to glowstone. Mm-hmm, that looks good. Then maybe warped wart, and then maybe like nether plants, and then uh, something else. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know what else we'll put there. But yeah, let's say nether plants right over there. I like the blue mushroom more than the red one, so we'll do that. And nether plants are just like all of this stuff. I don't think I'll ever have too much. So we can just put it all in one chest, kind of like what I did with the coral. Now, nether gold ore and then gilded blackstone. Gilded blackstone might go with the blackstone, but nether gold ore, that'll go over here in the gold chest. I feel like that just kind of makes sense. If I put nether gold ore somewhere else, like in here, then I have ores in here and over there, and yep, wouldn't really make sense. So that's the organization. Now, the customization of this build. I need to do a little bit of work. All of this cobblestone, it needs to be turned to blackstone. I think I'm changing this to basalt, maybe polished or normal, don't know quite yet, and then same with this down here that'll be basalt and then i think that's it uh this whole stairwell blackstone too so yep got a little bit of work to do i will be back once it's done well i did a little bit of building off camera and the storage building has been fully transformed so first thing uh first things first the, the door not too sure about it i don't know i just wanted to put one of the new nether doors in the build so yep it's there but if anything i'll change it to a warped one because i like the warped wood a little bit better but anyways the black stone like i thought it looks so good here now if we walk inside we have this room which is really really evil feeling now it is missing something the thing chandeliers i'm thinking one chandelier there one chandelier there probably and then maybe some better lighting on the flooring like a car 
carpet or something but for now this is what we have i think it looks pretty good this room is the same i didn't change anything i'm actually really really low on basalt we're gonna need to make a generator like asap once i make a generator i can come back and change these pillars into basalt as well i think i'd like to have polished basalt going all the way up so this feels like one continuous unit then back here in the staircase we have lots of basalt and the bottom room is still empty down here it's kind of funny i expanded this and didn't put anything in it but yeah this is the staircase now this is the build and that is the first minecraft guide 1.16 episode thank you all for watching today's episode if you enjoyed it hit that like button what should we do next let me know down in the comments below today big shout out to my patrons glavers and sci Fireman. thank you both so much for the support drop like subscribe all of my links discord reddit twitter instagram they're all down in the description merch right down below this video as well freshest in the game and until next time it's been me your boy i'll see you in the next episode goodbye everyone